All right, so this last one was challenging. I'm gonna show you a refactor from these different designs that were submitted for the Design Portfolio Hero Section Challenge from yesterday. So each one of these designs, for the most part, I changed quite drastically, and I'm gonna show you my reasoning why. Now, the name of the game was to create something really unique and obviously something that adheres to all the various UI design fundamentals. So I'm gonna show you each one of those as we go through them, and I'll show you my design as well. And at the end, we'll do a before and after. So definitely keep on following along with the 30 Day UI UX series in the playlist. We're just about wrapped up here and we'll start a new series here soon as well. And tomorrow we'll have a new video and challenge. So as always, make sure to sub up if you haven't yet and let's get started. All right, here is our very first submission. I'm, I'm just gonna say this is from S7. All right, so this is the very first submission I, I decided to take a look at. And I have to say it is not consistent with what the, the level of creativity that I wanted based on the previous challenge, yesterday's video. I wanted something that's less cookie cutter. All right, so um, I decided to kind of play off of the title for my revamp and I really kind of, I really, did a big revamp on this one, a refactor, if you will. Um, and what I wanted to do is play off the title, turning ideas into reality, all right? Ideas into reality. We can work with that concept. That is, that's a little motif, if you will. So here's what I did to make it a little bit more of a unique, interesting layout. Um, the idea here would be this section right here, um, where there's like a, a photograph in the background. That could perhaps be tied perhaps to the uh, the mouse position and we can get movement and it can change between images and the concept here is to literally take you know it's trying to visually convey the concept of turning you know as a web professional or a designer developer taking ideas from a client and making them a reality and showing them behind literally so that's the unique play that i decided to work here obviously the layout itself is a lot more unique from a traditional standpoint when it comes to a hero section where you have a left column with your headline your sub headline and your call to action and an illustration we want to break outside of that conventional norm especially for a portfolio where creativity is something that you really want to have. Uh, of course, you don't want to do this to every project that you have for a client. You don't want to have. You don't want to try to rethink, you know, crazy unique ideas because uh, there are patterns that are very important for like e-commerce and stuff like that. But for a portfolio, a designer portfolio, you want to be unique uh, and really try to think in abstracts. Okay, so that's the first refactor. The next one is from Dennis. All right. So this one lacks what I would call typographic visual hierarchy big time between head headline and subheadline. That's not big enough of a distinction between the sizes. Uh, so my eye naturally, I'm not sure where I should be looking first. And this person, by the way, did do a prototype with animation and stuff. I'm not showing that. I'm just looking at the design itself. So elevating digital interactions. I did the same exact thing here. I completely revamped this design and I just took what they were trying to convey through the headline, elevating, lifting up. All right. A motif, a motif, a motif, right? It's a theme. So here's what I came up with this one. All right. Now I did a secondary version, which could kind of maybe further I would probably have another cloud over here or two, uh, but just to give you an idea of what I'm talking about, trying to think in unique ideas, um, elevating. So we literally, my idea for this would be when the page loads, it would have an animation uh, based on this SVG where it reveals starting up this line that comes up from the bottom and then it shows elevating. I think that would be really cool. Now also think, think about also what it's saying, elevating digital interactions, interactions, all right? That's a movement, that's animation. I would have this be uh, in a UI once it's realized on the front end, animate heavily, uh, maybe like this could be interacting with certain elements or, or something like that. You would really wanna speak to the concept a lot um, outside of just showing this static design right here. So we're going from this to this or perhaps this. All right, let's go on to the next one. This is from Roy. This is a cool one. I, I like the, it, it reminds me of a cow a little bit with the spots, <laughs> the paint blots. Uh, it's obviously monochromatic. 
And the one area I kind of didn't like, okay, it is a little bit of a cookie cutter, two column hero section. However, um, having the italicized and the underlined word right here, I think that we could do something a little bit more unique with this. So this one, I didn't really change too, too much. Um, notice that they, this, is, this is the actual name, DZEN. All right, D Zen. So it seems weird to show it in two different ways from up here to here. So what I decided to do was I uh, just keep the logo and put design with, and now we have a three column layout. If you consider this a column, this a column, and this a column. Now, of course, I would also make this uh, scroll indicator move up and down as well. So we went from this design here to this design. All right, let's check out another one. This is from Sejoy. All right, so this one needed a lot of work. Now, it's suffering one of the fates that I've talked about in a few of the recent videos, and it is just washed out. There's not too many areas of high contrast, and so I think we could definitely improve this. And again, I'm just trying to take the overall concept of this layout and work it into a unique form um, for the refactor. So the, the immediate thing, the feeling I get is sci-fi. You know, space, sci-fi, technology, et cetera. So we're gonna run with that, and we're going to assume uh, the headline is, it's no sci-fi, all right? That's the, the concept that I have, the play that I have. It is no sci-fi. Like, our product is not science fiction, it's real. That's the motif that I'm going for. So, here we go. I know, it's kind of crazy looking, uh, but I think this could have a really potentially cool concept. So, first, I redesigned a logo. Um, if you look up here, Kind of weak over here with this uh, this icon. Um, so again, I got this from Econify, so it's not a truly unique unique logo. Um, I also moved. Notice there's not much white space around the navigation. It's really tucked up there. Look how much I have mine down. Um, and if you if you take a look at this, this is really a sci-fi sort of feeling. And what really makes this concept come together is this image right here I got from Unsplash. What would be really cool is if this were you. you I mean, you can you could take a picture of yourself if you have a high enough quality uh, smartphone with some good lighting and with some Photoshop skills, you could recreate something like this yourself. Don't be afraid to experiment with photography, especially on a portfolio when people, it's nice to be able to see who, you know, you're going to be hiring. Um, so I have other tiny little uh, treatments like this right here. And you're not meant to read this text. It's just kind of uh, to, to reinforce the... Um, the layout a little bit in the concept. These could be animated perhaps, um, but yeah, fun, fun stuff. So we went from this, which is just a, a little bit too busy, washed out, to this. All right, it would be so cool to see the animation with these uh, when they're fully realized. Here's another one from, I'm just gonna call you dog. What, the, what is up dog? Okay, never mind. that's stupid. All right, <laughs> so here's one that I would, consider like you know pretty common pretty typical type of layout i'm not sure what's happening down here this this semicircle oh it's 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 him okay <laughs> didn't realize that kind of down pretty far there so what i decided to do is still keep keep your name as the headline but kind of just bring it into a more modern approach for this type of layout this is more of like an old school type of layout, but if you wanted to really bring it into a modern age, this is what I did over here. All right, again, strong, uh, uh, some type of photograph of some sort as like a focal point. Here we have the name, which is really large, obviously, which is completely fine to do on a hero section of a portfolio. Um, kind of reinforcing UI graphics, front end, forging digital coll collaborations. Again, I wish I could see and, and have enough time to animate these, but we're going from this one here, kind of washed out type, hard to see that, uh, to this one right here. All right, next one is from February 24, 2022. That is the person's name. All right, so I, I could really appreciate the concept here or the motif that you're trying to go after, which is kind of like the barcode signifies, the barcode graphic right here signifies unique. I like that concept, it's a nice play. Um, but I think the execution just isn't there. Um, with the really extended letter spacing, um, creating you know unique uh, designs that inspire, it, it kind of just throws it off. So the topography is not great. Um, and it kind of just feels like things were kind of just thrown together and really boxy as well. 
Um, so I'm taking this, this, this barcode concept and coming up with my own right here using the same uh, color scheme as well. All right, check this one out. So this would be really cool um, animation. I, uh, when, it, when the page loads, perhaps, the, uh, these could like reveal and we could have this, this type right here come in like in a cool sort of masked uh, animation man manner of some sort um, and just having fun with it. Um, it would be really cool to see what the rest of these oopsie designs would look like when we add more to it or if we were to add more to each one of them. All right, so now I'm gonna show you in, in front of the screen right here, a before and after of each of these, I think six different designs that I decided to tackle. Right, everybody hopefully you enjoyed that so tomorrow we're going to have a brand new challenge I don't think we're going to continue on with the same landing pages that we just did here reason being the same people probably won't end up submitting anyways um, so it, it would be difficult we're gonna come up with a really new different type of challenge tomorrow um, so definitely stick around for that we're almost nearing the end of this 30-day series so hopefully you found it useful I will see you all very soon check out designcourse.com and goodbye